What's up, world? I'm Julian Lawson. Today I have with me my 2008 Chevy Aveo. So yeah, this is the Aveo. It is wrapped by Avery Dennison, the purple, sat well, satin purple, whatever, but yes, it is completely wrapped head to toe. This is the first time I have yet to ever record this car. Like I said, this is my very first time ever doing the vinyl wrap, and it came out pretty pretty good like everything looks nice smooth and even finished all these top roof sides well i still have to get you know this fixed because uh kind of flops open when it wants to but yes door handles side mirror everything all the way well i didn't do the this bottom part as you can see because i don't know what that is i'm just gonna leave that alone but yes purple looking absolutely gorgeous yeah but on this wrap it took me a little bit longer than it should have to get it done only due to the fact of money because um i did it myself it's i started working on it about may of last year so it's been about seven months just for me to even get close to being able to show it so i wanted to wait till it's completely i'm gonna say finished before i showed anyone but right now in the sun it looks absolutely lovely and it turned out better than i thought it would for my very first attempt at doing something like this all right so now instead of saying all the good things about the vehicle i'm gonna break down the bad but as you can see right there pumping gas like this happened within yesterday to about five or seven months ago right there got snipped and this you can see on the inside of it how the red's kind of still poking through right in through there and right here in this rear bumper i could not get this bumper off only due to the fact that it was bent screws were all messed up and i could not get the wheel off and as you can see i had broke this so i had to actually take it back to the firestone to get it replaced but like i said i could not get this bumper off so you can see in the gap there it's all messed up and this is a rust spot that was actually on the car uh, but I covered it up but it's still it's very noticeable and you can see here it's stretched extremely weird so I couldn't get that quite right but this roof spot I just did it last night that's what the final touch is but right around here on the antenna I have to also trim a little bit right there because it's actually riding up on it and you can see this nice lovely rectangle that's around it I was using the knifeless tape to try to get that out smooth but I'm still learning how to do it, but I have no type of coloration there. It's all good here. But also, on this piece, I was running low on the vinyl. I cut the piece a couple inches short because you're supposed to, it's there. The seam is supposed to be down here. So when I used the knifeless tape for the very first time, I wasn't sure how to quite do it, but it butted up pretty good right here in this section. But as you can see, the red underneath is still popping through. And this was the very first door that I had vinyl wrapped. And I didn't know that this seal right here can come off the car. So I cut it extremely close with my knife. And you can clearly see all the red that's in there. And uh, here is the side mirror. Once again, this is peeling because I did this like five or six months ago. If you guys remember, my cousin PJ actually put it on his Facebook Live of me doing this. It went in, what, one, two, three, four, five. I think it was like five or six pieces it's looking bad right here it took me five to six pieces to put that on there which looks like absolute trash but here also i did not have the correct tools when i first started doing the vinyl wrap so i could not get this entire panel i'm gonna say not off but just looser so as you can see i had to cut over this turn indicator but all right here it's all fingered and you can see the red behind it but the top doesn't, let me zoom back a little bit, the top doesn't look all that bad, but like I said, right there, so poking through. And once again, I didn't stretch it all the way, you know, the way, see there's still some red peeking through. I should have tucked it a little better, but all up in this seam, off the windshield, windscreen, nice, beautifully tucked. And like I said, the very first piece that you vinyl wrap a vehicle, which is the hood, because it's the easiest piece. It's just one solid, you know, flat mark. But this was the very first piece I did back in May of 2018 but I laid it on and I did not take these little wind windshield wiper fluid things out so you can clearly see there's a lot of red in there it looks bad it's got fingering it's got more fingering red but this is the very first one I tried but yeah 
So yeah, I'm gonna probably repair that later, but uh And this front bumper I cut it too short so as you can clearly see that this entire line going on the steam and with this hole I'm not sure how that hole got there. It might have been a rock or something that we touched but down the front bumper as you can see inside those little inlays I have lots of red this is peeling up right there oh and the bumper is a little little couple spots but like I said it passes the 10 foot rule it doesn't pass the 10 inch rule but also last night I just put this on there and I should have smoothed out this surface more because now it looks like it has uh, the extra excess glue from the original gold Chevy emblem I can see myself hey but uh, right here, you kind of see that up. But see, if I'm standing 10 inches away, I can clearly see everything that's wrong with it. But right here, we have lifting right there. Because I, when I put this, uh, what is this called? A light. Out of, oh, wow. When I put the headlight assembly back inside the vehicle, it actually had hit this part right here, which bent it. And I had messed all this up from like stretching it, overheating, underheating, blah, blah, blah. But like I said, I cut that too short. Oh, I'm in the way. I cut that too short so all that red's still showing. I should have tucked it a little bit more and had the headlight out so I can tuck it behind it. But that was just one of those things you just learn after doing it, you know, a couple times. But uh, this is also the second one I attempted. And uh, this is worse than the first one. Like uh, all that red showing, there's fingering there. This entire bottom, oh my bad. This entire bottom right here is showing, fingering. But all in all, like, if I would have had the proper tools when I first started doing this, you would see none of this red, but yeah, but anyways, this is the second side mirror I did. I completed this one, what, Thanksgiving weekend? What, two or three, four weeks ago? I really don't remember. But yeah, I did this entire thing in two pieces versus the six on that side, but it's still, I stretched it a little bit too less or too much, and I was using the knifeless tape on it. You can barely see, if I can get a good angle, you can barely see this the seam here, but once again, I have some glue marks and all that. But down here in this section, these seams look, I guess they look okay, I guess. I took it to the car wash yesterday. That's why I had some dried soap there. Probably should get that off. But yeah, this is the driver door. If anyone can remember, this entire driver door was hit by a crazy lady like three years ago. We just replaced it, but anyways, went to the junkyard, did it by myself. I had PJ with me. But that day they closed at like six, we couldn't get in, but it's it's whatever. But yeah, put this door on there, and I never noticed that, if I can get the angle, there is a dent from here down to here, where I guess when I bought the door, it just had this dent already in it, but I just never noticed it. But I did notice it, because the door was silver. Like this entire door was silver when I wrapped it purple. <clears throat> so when the door was silver, I had no idea this dent was there, and so I put the vinyl on it. And then once you put the vinyl on, you can just clearly see that it's all messed up. Man, this is the door handle, and as you can see, a couple spot was pulling up there. That gap, I didn't tuck it far enough over, so all that looks like that. The keyhole, I probably can just touch this up right now. But uh, yeah, it looks, I'm gonna take a step back. Looks beautiful inside there. And like I said, I cleaned up all these lines. And this was already here on the door, so I just covered that up basically. And this part right here, a little bit of tucking, but yeah, all the way around looks good. But uh, this entire, you know, C pillar, well, I did it all in one piece, but also I was kind of going too fast on it. But I have some fingering up top here, a little bit of f well, fingering right there, there. Yeah, all in all, this C pillar looks good, but the rear bumper have that there, but more fingering and there's starting to be a lot of cars pulling into this parking lot another handle looks nice no it works and i'll have more fingering here on this door but i am probably going to replace this door within the next day or so m1 tv again but yeah but yeah this is the aveo that i have wrapped and it's my it's that first time doing it so that's not bad at all yeah, so as I was saying, this park is getting pretty crowded. There's people walking their dogs and everything else under the sun. But like I said, this is the first vehicle I attempted to do the vinyl wrap on. And my goal for 2019 is to wrap a total of five. Now I'm thinking, who wants to vinyl wrap their cars from an amateur like me? But I'm thinking 
if I can just get a couple cars from friends and whatnot, and all they have to do is let me borrow the car, and I'll vinyl wrap it completely, I'm gonna say no labor cost, I'll buy the vinyl. I just want the practice, because the more practice I get, the better I will become at doing it. Oh, stay away from the sun. But uh, I am taking a vinyl wrapping class come February, which is two or three, I don't know, it's, it's kind of like a month away or something like that. But I'll be taking that vinyl wrapping class and getting certified in doing this. But yes, as I said, I'm Julian Lawson, and this is the 2008 Chevy Aveo wrapped in Avery Denison purple satin, and I'll see you next time. Peace.